All right, ladies and gentlemen, gamers, welcome back. Now, I've got a little treat for all of us today, and it's not League of Legends. Well, it's related. I have to go to the market very soon. But first, I'm going to eat green peas. And that's the palette for today. Soon. However, as you can see from the League of Legends client... The next thing that was supposed to come out, the skins and events, isn't out yet on the client. And if we'll take a look real quickly at Surrender 20, as you can see, it's not how it's not out here either. How? Uh, however, it's out on League's channel. So we're gonna do some reaction videos before anyone else and hopefully get a lot of you so anyway let's go let's start off the stream with the behind the mecha kingdoms scene er, yeah behind the scenes mecha kingdoms here we go oh okay we see some concept art we see him drawing riot whatever the fuck his name is things, especially around holiday themed skins One of the oh we decided to take was dude the artist must be making bank Oh so my. We to try something wildly new. Wildly new. Oh my god, it's so new. Jesus. Look at how new this is. So Mega Kingdoms is a new idea for us. Oh, I remember this guy. Wait, he did one of the videos like last year. That are protecting the world. Yeah, so basically it's just kaiju theme. Mega Kingdoms, we wanted to tap back into the fantasies of of course it's the Asian guy saying that. Such as three kingdoms and Chinese history, but also incorporating this What the fuck is someone was coughing in the background? So the story is that there are these three kingdoms and oh. other territories as well. Yeah, yeah. The, the story is it's basically Pacific Rim. came up from the sea and they were invading humanity. Pacific Rim with their sort of normal human armies, they weren't able to defeat these monsters. Yeah. So they were blessed by the how are they not getting copyrighted? And with this, they're able to construct really immense, huge, towering mechs. How the fuck are they not getting copyrighted for this shit? Yo, that looks so nice! They're basically fighting a dragon. Imagine they make the dragon look like that. That'd be so cool. The mecha skin line traditionally has been for more creature type characters. Oh. The mecha kingdoms are piloted robots. Oh. But they're not just robots, like the Praetorian skin. Yes. So we want the pilot's personality to come through. Ah, yes. We went through multiple rounds of iterations on, like, what's the Yeah, it's crazy how much they go right? through like, with this shit, like, Jesus. Once we figured that out, then it locks in a direction. The jack skin is hell nice. Around these things. Aside from that, the oh my. visual language that we're using, it's a blend between the organic flowy shapes that we've established in our previous lines through Lunar Rebel. Oh. Into Dude, all the skins for this event look so fucking good, especially that one. Look at that one. Some of our Imagine if I had a real weapon. Conveying that sense of weight and scale. Yeah, you have to make them look like they're giant robots. Coming into lane like a giant mecha, but then there's a demo there. <laughs> So we're able to kind of tackle some of those challenges in the VFX or the animation. Ooh. A lot of it is marrying these elements that ground it. Dude, Leona's ult is so nice. The effects for Leona's skin is so nice. Ooh, it's that beat the shit out of him. Ooh. For Jax, we went into um, a lot more detail. Yeah, Jax's one is hella nice. He's landing in a small little village, and so we get to see what that town looks like. Oh, my. When he respawns, he's being carried in by these little That's so fucking cool. Like literally delivering the mech there when he's running into the battle, oh uh, my flying with him as well so all these tiny little details oh you know aside from just watching the effects this video is not that interesting i'm gonna be fucking honest going to the size was the hardest thing we can't make something sound massive in league to the point where it pulls away from the game dude look at jack's just smacking it jackson looks so nice since we don't have an established idea of what this sounds like oh. it's kind of like let's figure it out it was a lot of experimenting with different types of I feel really bad for the sound people because they do so much fucking work and it's really good work. And then, like, no one gives a shit. <laughs> like, he's saying all this crap. No, no, I don't really care. Like, it's nice and I'm really glad. And he deserves recognition, but, like, who the fuck cares? You get the sparks from the electricity and stuff. 
Ooh, look at that Nico. Oh, he's probably using fucking wallpaper engine, this fuckhead. Oh my god, I don't even know what that means. I'm a league player. Imagine how much work went into this shit. How much longer is this? Okay, it's about to end, finally. We get to really invent that universe together. Yeah, yeah, okay. You get to fucking sell the skin to us more. Thank you. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, is my piece ready? Oh, thank you. Yeah, there's something more which makes you want to spend money. Okay, cool. Alright, so that's that one. Pretty weak, but interesting i guess now we get into the meat and bones of this and i already saw from the thumbnail that um it has to do with orn orn i think is getting an elder wood skin can i see fuck they used to have a right click that showed you the um the thumbnail but let's actually look at the thumbnail here right i don't know if you guys can see it but look at the thumbnail here right videos look that's orn and it looks like he's fucking elder wood so let's let's see that let's see that shit okay here we go skins and events oh boy the most hey important video i'm john aka bellissimo bellissimo personalization turn the dev team oh my today i'd like to share some of the behind the scenes reasons for the choices we've made over the last year okay let's hear this let's talk a bit about some of the things that we've got in store for you in 2020 oh boy more skins of course i i love more skins the number of champions in league continues to grow. Yes, and you keep giving skins to Lux. Champs now. It's getting more and more difficult to make skins for all of our champions. On top of that, we often prioritize popular Lux. champions with larger audiences. Lux, Ezreal, Lux. Jen, Let's go! Ooh, the sexy Akali! Reasons aside, though, it sucks to have to wait years for a skin for your favorite champion. Zareth, Skarner. In 2018, we shipped just over 80 skins to Jesus. In 2019, oh, the Corgi! 100 mark. Oh my, wait, they did well. Push past 120 skins. Jesus Christ. What are we doing with those extra skins in 2020? Yeah. We're going to be hitting up a lot of the champions. I hope they don't count prestige skins in that. Specifically, we're going to be cooking something up for... Oh, Orn! Oh, oh! Okay! Okay! Twitch! Twitch! It's the first party Twitch! Oh! Orn! Talia! I'm screenshotting that and sending it to Adrian. Oh, here we go. Okay. Kaisa, Kaisa, Kaisa! If they make a legendary, I'm so ready. Oh, there it is! Elderwood Orn! Ew! It looks nice though. Oh god, is that Dark Star Mord? That's Dragon Slayer Chindle, which is actually a really good skin. Since we're developing more skins than ever this year, we're also going to spend some time exploring. Oh. Today, there are only a few thematics that are universally loved across all regions. Project Star Guardian. There are also thematics that you've shown us that you're just not that excited about anymore. Deep Sea. And this comes through loud and clear through a variety of different signals. Snowman. Players purchase these skins far less than others. Damn. Even those who do purchase them don't use them that much in game. Damn. I like his we'll voice. It's very soft. World to make sure that your opinions match the signals that we're seeing. Okay. No. This doesn't mean that we'll never do a Snowdown skin. Ever. No. It does mean that we need to take the time to understand why most players didn't like it. Yeah, because they suck. Find new creative ways to approach these themes. So you will be excited about it next time. I hope so. Oh, a great example of how we can breathe life. Dude, yeah, High Noon is like amazing now. High Noon was like kind of ass in the beginning, but now it's amazing. If you have any suggestions or ideas for new themes, and they really fleshed out the thematic. Ideas for a new take on an older thematic. Oh, let us know. How do we let you know? Can you tell us how we let you know, you fuckhead? Every year for Lunar Rumble, we've offered oh, skins that have typically been exciting for players in eastern regions, but haven't been as resonant with our players globally. Yeah, in the U.S., we didn't give a this shit. Year, we wanted to try something different. Except that they're hot, like Vayne is hot. Our vision for this new thematic was to create a new take on a well-loved sci-fi fantasy. Pacific Rim. And Western inspirations. Pacific Rim. So we created Mecha Kingdoms. Pacific Rim. A legendary sci-fi universe where the greatest heroes... Yeah, you didn't create it, you copied it, you bitch. Yep. By piloting giant mechs. Oh my god, that's never been done before. Garen, Leona, oh. 
sexy. Ooh, Our new handsome. Set. And finally, Even sexy and Jackson handsome. A real weapon. Oh! A giant mech in the shape of a giant mech. Jackson, so. Oh! Mecha Kingdoms is launching today as the first major event of 2020. Yay! Oh! Okay. In 2019, we got a lot of feedback around events. They sucked ass. Specifically that it felt like their quality had dropped over time. Yep. <laughs> low, and not yep. every event had a game mode available. Yes. We want each event to feel like a unique experience. It's not going to. We really don't care. Which is why our goal moving forward is to make... That would actually be cool if they do this shit more. more. And more memorable for everyone. That's going to be a tax and this shit on the team, though. Game modes for all of our major events. Pushing for more I bet you the team is, like, crying tears, like, the fuck we're going to have to work. They better be getting paid, year, though. One of the main things we heard about event passes was that it felt like you had to play too much to get all the things that you wanted. That's good. I like that. It also felt bad to use tokens to buy things like ward skins or emotes. If you were I also agree with that. Reward, that. That is true. We I believe that, that getting all the rewards in event pass shouldn't require <laughs> you to sign your life away for 30 days. I wanted to. For the 2019 World's Pass, I like being forced to play League. I hate playing League. Free, and also so you can save your tokens for the things Ooh. that you really want, like exclusive event chromas. The Louis V. There's so, so much point of that. Dawn and Night, we changed the event pass win of the day structure. Yeah, I actually so really like that. And complete them on your own schedule. Yup, I like that. Can't play during the week? Okay. No problem. Get all your win of the days on the weekend. Yup, they made it weekly. That was really good. Event passes, and making sure there's always something new to do. We hope to make 2020 a year to remember. Okay. Eternals. Oh, finally! Finally! A champion based stat tracking. Yes! Money! Money! Everyone hated this! Eternals were met with a lot of criticism. With a lot of hate. And it was serious enough to where we pumped the brakes and delayed the release. Because we hated it. Make major changes and address your concerns. And we wouldn't fucking fork your asses. That Eternals shouldn't be an RP only feature. And that you should have a way to earn them, not just buy them. Yes. We want as many players as possible to experience Eternals without having to spend them. But we still can, probably. Oh, here we go. All right. Oh! Okay. All right. When is this coming out? Mm-hmm. Also, in a post-launch update, we'll add Eternals that can be earned via ranked splits. Wait, that's actually so good. Let's go. Okay. With many of our initial versions feeling too generic, hey, get kill. Wrong parts of a hey, steal jungle camp. Our goal is to create skill expressive and memorable stats that you're stoked to show off. Yeah, you want to BM letter, your enemy. We worked with players on PVE oh. to hear what kind of Eternals you wanted to see. Like what? As a result, unique Eternals now track more complex and interesting stats. What did he do? He flash ulted. He, fl he flash ulted. So whether it's showing off how dedicated you are to the devil himself, Ooh. or how good oh. a troll you already in sniper you are, Ooh. the highlights of playing your favorite champions. <laughs> it's your feedback that helps us. These you seem like so ass. Players. So please, keep letting us know what types of things you'd like to see Eternals track moving forward. <laughs> how many times <laughs> I die? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Oh, great. Another thing to fucking mute. Okay. See, okay, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I have a complaint. Oh, here we go. Oh. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this video. Oh! Oh, it's announcers! It's announcers! Here's the 2020. Oh, I'm so ready. I'm gonna have fucking a different announcer. Let's go. Okay. So that's all nice and dandy. That was a really good video. It provided a lot of information and a lot of good stuff. Now, the only problem I have is... Let's get this shit out of the way. The only problem I have with this is that they do this shit at the worst times, I feel. If they did this all in preseason, or maybe even like at the start or before of preseason, it would have generated so much fucking hype. And it would have given them more like time in our eyes. Because right now, they have to work on this shit literally right now. So they're announcing it while they're working on it. If they did this shit at the beginning of preseason or before it, they'll be like, or the fans, we, the fans will be like, okay, it's coming, it's on its way. And now we know what to expect, and we'll wait for it, because we know it's not anywhere near, kind of. Like, 
I feel like the preseason this year didn't add a lot. It only added the elemental rifts and like pretty shitty balance changes, and the elemental rifts and the alcoves pretty much suck cock for the most part. So it's like, I feel like it was very underwhelming. If they added all of this in to the pre or before preseason, I would have thought, okay, this preseason had a lot. Even though most of it isn't in the preseason, a lot of it's coming. You know, it's still like, it, it's still more to to have at a certain time. Whatever, I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, turn this shit off. Let's react to the next Zed and Jin comic. Oh, mama. I almost read this like a weeb. I almost read it from right to left. Okay, so we have Ionia here. You know, last thing we saw... You know, let me actually put some music on too, now since I don't want to be here in silence. Always with the lo-fi, baby. There we go. So, uh, basically we're following the story of Zed getting tormented by Jin and wanting Shen's help. Okay, so there we are. Uh, okay, here we go. All right. Disguises or not, we shouldn't be here, Master Zed. Uphill is the Kinku base. They recognize us. We are screwed. See, that's the thing I like about about um Zed's group and Shen's group. Zed's group is like, we fucked up. They hate us. We're, they're going to kill us on sight. K-O-S. Kill or kiss on sight. However, Zed is like, oh, I know Shen. Shen won't just like outright kill me. He, he has to maintain order. But anyway. I mean, since we're here and Master Shen's alone, we should skip honor and ambush that giant freak. But then we gotta, we should get out of here and go back to work. Oh, wait, that's Kane. Dude, I hate the way Kane looks in this. Our patron is livid. The Navori Brotherhood is pissed. The Zun Council votes on forming the League. And Shen is the only man that can trap Kata Jin. And maybe the only man I could ever truly trust. Oh, damn, he regrets what he did. Stay here, stay out of sight. Why care about some killer? You fought demons, you fought armies. Unfortunately, the only man I could trust is also the man who most wants to kill me. And if he won't listen to reason... Oh, he's going to probably kill him. Your students are as quiet as a pregnant war axe. Oh, God. Dude, yeah, it's like kill on sight with them. Shen's three spans and four fingers width away from me a single step more and he's in range to kill me Ooh. i like how shen has brown hair he'll take cloud cuts the moon stance next striking distance three spans three fingers widths from the left oh i am kinku i should not act out of vengeance for my father but this is not an opportunity i will pass up oh damn he's not he's not going with order the distance is two spans and one palm. He's going right. Damn, that's just better than him. Your father's ideals were a weakness Ionia could no longer afford. I might die because some foolish part of me wanted to argue to tell Shem what really happened. He doesn't know all the story. Wait, is it going to reveal what actually happened to fucking Kusho? I'm pretty sure Zed didn't kill him. Okay, Siege of Thanos Navori region 10 years ago. The Noxian army had surrounded the city. We were cut off from... The rest of the Navori Brotherhood's forces. Oh, he's carrying like a little child. I'm not going to say boy or girl. I don't know yet. This way into the tunnels. Into the tunnels. Sir, they've smashed the left flank. The enemy's going to be on us and blow our back out. You're going to be okay. Your daddy and mummy are down in the tunnels. We can't hold the foreigners. Weapons are too powerful. They'll be in the sea by morning. I love the, that Noxus is just sacking the city. I'm not going to let anything happen to you. Oh, if we cannot stand against them like this, then we will go get the power to stop them. Scimitar unit and chimera unit with me. Oh, wait, they look so cool. But what of the refugees? Where are we going? The Kinku temple. I'm not asking them. I'm going to take what we need. The Kinku won't help us. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh my god, there's Kusho. How many times must I tell you the war isn't the concern of the Kinku? You aren't welcome here. Not anymore, Usan. I don't use that name anymore. Now they call me Zed. I have come for the tears of the shadow. <clears throat> no, that magic is forbidden. I am sorry, Usan. I failed you as a master. 
I remember the strong scent of the koam trees, sickly sweet even in the cold wind. I did not impart you with the wisdom to see the necessity of keeping the kinku pure. What is war and death in the face of eternity? Balance is... Oh, keep your words. I will take the box and, and the magic ichor it contains. The tears are powerful because they are not of our world. Because they do not belong in our world. Are they void? Walk with me. See it for the evil it is and destroy it with me. Then bring your students into balance. Usan, wait. Oh. The tears of the shadow, when consumed or tattooed, give the user the shadow magic for, for which my order is named. Oh, God. Ugh. I have what yeah I have what we came for with the magic of the tears of the shadow we can stand against the foreigners oh my god what the hell is he doing Husha was weak this has made your order weak I offer strength join us and fight for our homeland some died most fled and I let them escape our homeland needs the demon hunters exorcists and balancers I never denied that see that's why I like Zed Zed isn't just like bloodthirsty and this is the only way. No, he understands the the bigger picture. But he thinks something should be included in that bigger picture that's not already there. He's not there for changing what it is already. He just wants to add to it. Which I like. Now, I'm pretty sure from this alone, it looks like he killed Kusho. Or maybe the shadows made him do it. I don't know. Anyway. Present day. But no reason, no justification can quiet a son's rage for the murder of his father. Shen, I'm here because Kata Jin escaped. Impossible. Oh, Kata Jin is free, and you know what that thing is capable of. And you know that we are the only two people who can get close enough to stop him. <laughs> Damn, he literally put his swords down to, like, show I'm not fighting your ass. And Shen looks so ugly here, God. I think Jin's setting a trap, and the only way to catch him is if we work together, you know. What I know is that I cannot stand to look at you without trying to strike you down. Oh! For this, I set down my weapons. I offered you my throat. I observed the, the code of Tuan, and I will offer you vengeance after we catch him. It's the only way. I will not work with you. Not, not even for this Usan. I will stop Kata Jin, and because you came to deliver this message, honor demands that I must let you go. Leave Jin to me, hide in the mountains away from civilization. We will meet again, Zed, soon, and when we do, you die. Okay, I don't like, I don't like Shen. No, he's being gay. And Jin's watching them. Outside. Oh, there's Akali. Yo, Akali, when she sees, yeah, look, when she sees them, she's gonna fucking go ballistic, I think. Okay, anyway, the inn is down this way, mistress. Master Shen offers, often eats here. Uh-oh. Go back to, to the temple, tell them the Yelena here, get as many warriors as you can. I'll buy us some time. Kane behind us. Oh, she with the Kinku. Akali, my girl, this is a very bad idea of yours. Yo, she's ready. Yeah, she's with the Kinku at least, sort of. Hi, guys, say, do you even know... Where to get some shadow magic? I hear it's great for the complexion. This fucking bitch. Akali, right? Kane, did you run out of shirts? Nice. Where's your master? Probably killing Shen. You send that kid to get reinforcements? And you're just waiting here? Oh, big dick. Give us a chance. Gives us a chance to talk. Let's face it. You've been working for the wrong side in this conflict. And I'm open to collaborate with you. Ooh! Sigh, it's your eyes. What? I mean, I, had, I hate admitting it, but the abs and shirtless thing actually works for me. But those eyes, crazy. You're hot, but crazy. Damn! Oh. Jin's still watching. How very disappointing, Shen. I guess a new incentive is needed. Oh, no! Jin is gonna fuck with them. This is good. Nah, nah, silly. Come on, throw Oh my goodness. Well, well, the great worm himself. Oh, master, a whole temple's worth of kinku are on their way. I love how they're just sitting here. You scared of a fair fight, worm? 
I did not come here to fight. Master Shen, you okay? Oh, I am fine. He observed the code of Tuan. He delivered a message. Let them go, Akali. Yeah, I don't think so. Haya. He's gonna stop her. Oh, ha. Because you are Shen's student, I will ignore this insult. Damn. You have no honor to insult. Oh. Yan Lei, move out. For my father, I am the one who will kill Zed, but I am done waiting. This is not your fight, Akali. The armistice between the Yan Lei and Kunko is over. The code of Tuan and Vetan are ended. We are at war. I am coming for you, Zed. Dude, I hate Shen's face so much. Not too far away. Okay, we're getting to the end here, hopefully. Mm. Are we running from Shen now? No, but if we are going to stop Katajin, I need Shen and I have a plan. You're going to follow Shen and let him lead you to Jin? Yes. But we're at war. If Shen sees you, it's not if, it's when, which is why I need to minimize the risks to our organization. Dude, dude, Zed seems so fucking nice in this. Yan Lei, gather around. Kane, you were born a foreigner, but you are my finest student. I name you my successor. Sworn and witnessed. Sworn and witnessed. Wait, holy shit. He basically just sunned the Kane. Okay. Onward. I follow Shen as he chases leads across the region where others see dead ends. He finds a trail. Jin, use the docks over there. Is that the sword? Is that the Sotka River? You're gonna tell me the name of every ship that traveled up the Sotka River this month. Oh my god, she's beating him. Yes, he died with all the others on that ship. A demon killed him like the one your father slayed. Do you know where I could get the manifest of with all the passengers' names? Lord Jitha died with all 15 of his family members on that ship. 16. Jin's obsession with the number 4. His victims are always in units of 4. Damn, he knows. Did Lord Jitha and his family have any enemies you knew of? He hated those damn radicals. I figured they hated him too. Radicals? Other council? Hata Zin, may I ask you some questions concerning what Master Shen? Voting records concerning radical, radical unification, militarization, and support for the Navori. I'm happy to tell you, Kinku, everything I know about that blasted Kashuri faction. The Kashuri? They want to unify all of... Ziyun, probably all of Ionia, into a single state, bring war and vengeance against the Noxians. All? Oh. I think the spirits, the Nanthi Elder, has good sense to stand against those national bullies after Master Althan and Lord Jitha's family were wiped out. He's one of the last holdouts. Where is Nanthi Elder now? Oh my god, they're going to go after Nanthi. Two days later. Uh, Nanthi's elders... Nanthi's elder and three others were killed by a demon the day before we arrived. Damn, the flower, the flower. This is Jin's work. Leave the bodies to me. I count nine of Shen's kinku hidden in the crowd. They're looking for Jin and they're looking for me. Let me see. No. What makes you think I'm not ready? Because I wasn't when I was your age. Ooh, damn, now he's imposing on her. We're on Jin's trail, but no closer trapping him, but I know one clue Shen doesn't. Jin's killing family, children, innocent bystanders, bloody work. The very work I refused. I don't want to believe it, but if these murders aren't connected to my patron or the Navori Brotherhood, then it's possible Jin's killing all these people just to taunt me. Yo! Where have I seen those lanterns before? And why are there two strings connected to them? Oh my god, they're Jin's bombs. It's a feeling of tightness in my chest, one I've had before. Jin operates with detail. It isn't a second string. They aren't just lanterns. They're bombs! Jin's here and we walked into a trap. This actually reminds me of like the Jin story where at the end of the story, he was in the hotel. He killed the hotel girl because he was feeling horny for the number four. And then like, he knew Shen and Zed were next to each other, working together. And then he was about to blow up the whole town. This might be a story in reference to that. But anyway... That was it. That was the reaction and the comic reading. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. I'm going to go shopping and eat the rest of my green peas. So, later.